We now turn to a live look on Capitol Hill, where discussions are ongoing this morning to avoid a partial government shutdown. The president and Congress have three days to come to an agreement and keep government offices open. Senate Republicans are now reportedly working on a short-term spending bill to avert the shutdown, but nothing's been finalized. If the gridlock continues past Friday at midnight, close to 800,000 federal employees will either have to work without pay or be furloughed. Mark Liverman shares how politicians are addressing the issue this morning. President Trump appears to be standing firm on his demand for a border wall. Last night, he tweeted, we are building artistically designed steel slats. It will go up fast and save us billions of dollars a month. Let's see what happens. Earlier in the day, he made one thing clear. We need border security. Congress needs to pass a series of spending bills by Friday night, or about a quarter of the government will shut down. Last week, the president said, that's okay. I am proud to shut down the government for border security. Democrats have held firm against any new border wall money. Yesterday, they rejected a proposal from Senate Republicans for $1 billion to fund other immigration issues. We cannot accept the offer they made of a billion dollars slush run for the president to implement his uh, very wrong immigration policies. Press Secretary Sarah Sanders said the White House wants to see what Congress can pass, but in the meantime, they're considering other options. Well, the president's asked every one of his cabinet secretaries to look for funding that can be used uh, to protect our borders. Uh, Democrats are nixing that government. idea, too. They need congressional approval. They're not getting it for the wall, plain and simple. If no deal is reached, 420,000 federal employees would have to work through the holidays without pay. Another 380,000 employees would be furloughed.